How do you stay motivated when you're doing this thing for so long? You're putting in the work, you're, you're sending, you know, doing, uh, buying traffic, you're putting out content. How do you stay motivated when you feel like, man, when is this going to happen? I have some tips to share with you today, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vivian from VivianBrown.com and if it's your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you'll see when I upload more videos. My channel is all about entrepreneurship, um, online marketing and mindset. So if you get value from this, um, this video today, feel free to share and to leave me a comment below. I would appreciate that. So let's talk about this motivation thing. I mean, how do you stay motivated when it feels like, gosh, when is this thing going to happen? I mean, when I'm going to see results, right? So the first thing you want to do, you want to set a personal mission statement. Not what you want to, not what you want to achieve in your, in your business necessarily, but what you want to achieve in your life. Who do you want to become five years down the road, 10 years down the road, right? What do you want to achieve um, in your, that personal mission statement? Um, who do you want to become in the next 90 days in 2020, which is just around the corner, right? So you want to develop a set of personal mission statement that you want to achieve for yourself and stick to that. The second thing is you want to create a plan of action instead of just winging it, instead of just doing willy nilly, you know, oh, maybe I'll do this today or maybe I'll do, the, do that today. You want to have a plan of action, a set of things that you will do because you want to st stop doing a million things, right? I, I know I'm guilty of like my computer. My daughter always says I have so many tabs open and I need to fix that. I know I need to fix that. But you want to stop having to do so many th things at one time you get yourself overwhelmed so to counteract this you need to just focus on two or three things that you need to do on a daily basis or two or three things that you must get done right in your business every day decide what you're doing going to do and commit that into your business right what kind of strategies are you going to employ and how is it going to play out you know what what plan of action do you have for the next week or for the next month or for the next year even right so you have to have a plan of action and you want to st um, stick to it S number three is to set a daily routine of habit and stick to it again you want to get rid of the bad habits because the bad habits will not get us anywhere you want to take those bad habits replace them with good habits and don't allow the bad habits to take over right um you have to get it done no matter what so develop a habit of you know, you have to get this done no matter what's going on. Um, think about the bad habits that you have and replace them with the good habits, like I said, right? I know I'm repeating myself, but it's true. You know, we all have, all have so many bad habits that we need to take out and replace them with good habits and have a set daily routine that we follow each day. Number four, take the time to learn. Not, don't just buy a course and just, you know, go through maybe a module or two or you buy a book and you go through a page or two you want to take the time if you're buying this course uh, um, you want to take the time to learn the stuff in there or else you're just wasting money and the only money that's wasted right is the one where you buy something and you don't take time to to go through the course right so you want to go through the course and you want to implement you want to take notes implement and get results right and um, for example, you could go, say you don't have time during the week, you could go through the course or whatever you have bought on the weekend and then implement. One of my mentors says, um, one tip she gave was to, to on the weekend, you want to go through your training, your different, um, you know, whatever you have bought, and then you want to implement it over the next week, right? So take the time to learn something, take the time to take notes, implement and get results before you go on to something else. Um, number five is to plan ahead. What do you want to do in the upcoming week? Um, how many videos do you want to make? And then again, it goes back to what I said before, you want to do your training, your videos and everything on the weekend so you can implement during the week. So you want to plan ahead, you want to um, figure out which video do I need to upload on Mondays? Which video I need to upload on Wednesdays? Which video I need to upload on, on Fridays? For me, I, I plan like three videos on the weekend and I decide, okay, this video is gonna be on Monday, one, one on Wednesday and the other on Friday. So I upload videos to YouTube three times a week. So you need to plan ahead. Um, you know, your content and what you want to do for the week. If you're doing Facebook lives, what content do you want to talk about on that particular day, right? So 
you want to um, you know plan ahead the next no, number six by the way if you're getting value from this let me know in the comments below number six you want to set reminders and and in this life we're all humans we have so many things to do you want to set reminders if I don't set reminders if I don't write things down I forget them and I'm sure the same happening happens the same thing happens for you too. So you want to set reminders maybe on your phone or on your computer, whatever um, reminder you need to set maybe a half an hour before or an hour before. Maybe you, you're, you're gonna do a wake up call or you're gonna do some webinar or something. Set a reminder for yourself so you'll get, you don't um, miss these deadlines and these dates and you have people upset at you, right? Number seven, you want to get an accountability partner. Maybe you're in a company, maybe you're in a network marketing business, maybe you're new, you want to find somebody who is at the same level that you are, and you can bounce um, ideas off of each other, you can check on each other, you know, um, did you do your video today, or did you do this today, or did you go through this today? So you kind of have, um, have each other's back, you have your um, um, account, um, to one another and this will this is a great motivate um, way to motivate yourself to keep going when you have um, a, an accountability partner Right and you will inspire each other as you go along number eight You want to seek inspiration from those who are successful, right? Check out their content see what they're doing see what your competitors competitors are doing You want to get ideas from the content their mo you know, highest producing content and then you want to do your own spin on it and come up with your own content So take their ideas and turn it in your own no plagiarism here You want to take their ideas and put your own spin on it and create your own content Number nine, um, and this was taken from the book, Eat the Frog, that's a suggested book, Eat the Frog by Brian Tracy. You wanna take your top three most important things that you wanna do and knock them out first thing during the day. That, God forbid, in case you can't finish the other um, activities, then you can roll them over to the next day. So you wanna knock out your, your top three things for the day first, right? Just in case some, something comes up. Number 10, celebrate your wins. Celebrate your wins. It's a great motivating factor. Celebrate your wins as you go through a course or a training and you implement something, you got your first lead, you got your first sale. Yay, you know, you wanna celebrate um, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything big. It could be your favorite ice cream or it could be a massage or something, going for a walk in the park, having some girl time, some me time or something um, to reward you as you um, you know go through this this online journey or your entrepreneurship journey right you want to celebrate your wins you want to reward yourself and that will, this will give you um, you know fuel to keep going and to go on to the next task so I hope you got value from this and that you'll keep going that you'll you put these tips into action and just motivate yourself to keep going even when it looks like man when am I going to get results you know you want to keep going because Sometimes when you stop is just when you're about to get your breakthrough. So don't stop. Your breakthrough is just around the corner and it really is. So I want to encourage you to put these tips into action. And again, if you got value from this, feel free to share this out and, and let others know. So once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you'll see when I upload more videos and I will see you on another video. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for a way to um, you know, make money online or to launch your online business, be sure to check out the Profit Boosting Bootcamp and I will leave a, li a link in the description below. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you on another video. Bye.